this was just kind of a perfect storm that we were gone. Dan Rolfing's new iPhone 16 was supposed to be delivered to his Crestwood house on Friday. Instead, he got this, an empty box. It doesn't say AT&T on it. They've ripped the label off, uh, but it's about the right size that the iPhone would be inside there. In this Ring video, you can see a FedEx driver drop off his phone and take a picture for the company. Well, we have kind of a privacy wall on the front of our house, and you can't tell when we have a package on our front stoop. But then minutes later, there's this video of a different man wearing a mask and hat. He dressed like a FedEx driver. The only thing he didn't have was the FedEx truck. You know, it was just a red SUV. You can see him switching out the box with the phone to an empty box. Either it's an inside job with a FedEx driver or uh, someone's tracking their tracking numbers or getting the tracking numbers from AT&T and knows when they're going to be delivered. Uh, it's clearly not random. In the Central West End, First Alert 4 was also sent this video. The neighbor didn't want to go on camera, but says her iPhone from AT&T was also stolen off her porch just days ago. Neighborhood Safety Initiative Director Jim White says people need to be on alert for this growing trend. Make sure that you have to be home when it's delivered and you have to sign for the package. That's always helpful. I know these things kind of put people out and we're a we're creatures of, of, of comfort and uh, we don't like to be um, put out at all, but, uh, you know, we don't like to become victims of crime either. Rolfing says AT&T deactivated his phone and is sending him another one. But when it comes to the $1,000 cost of the stolen phone... Don't really know who's going to be re uh, responsible, but yeah, that's the frustrating part. Ultimately, it's the consumer that's responsible because it just makes prices go up as more and more get stolen. He says the company is investigating this and plans to make sure he's home for the next delivery. In Crestwood, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4.